Dear students, welcome to the course of Fundamentals of Information Technology. We are in week 7. In this week's session, we will dive into some essential aspects of cybersecurity, a field that impacts both our personal and professional digital lives. Here are what we are going to cover in this week's sessions. Cybersecurity and attacks. We will explore the basic of cybersecurity and understand the different types of cyber attacks that aim to exploit vulnerabilities in our computer systems. We will discuss about various security threats. You will learn about common security threats like phishing, social engineering and insider threat. Understanding these is the first step to defending against them. We will move to viruses and malware. We will investigate how viruses and other form of malware operate, how they spread and the tools we can use to protect our computer systems. Cyber hygiene, just like personal hygiene, it's important for our health Cyber hygiene is essential for digital safety. We will discuss practical steps to keep our system and data secure. Cyber bullying and uh, netiquette. We will talk about the social impact of our online behavior, covering responsible communications and the importance of netiquette in preventing the cyber bullying. We will go through securities of PCs, mobiles and PDAs uh, with so much of our personal data stored on these devices, securing of our computer systems, mobile devices and other digital assistance is crucial. So by the end of this week, you will have a clear understanding of these concepts and be a better prepared to navigate the digital world safely and responsibly. So let's get started. So let's go through an overview of cybersecurity and attacks. So cybersecurity is a discipline focus on safeguarding computer systems, networks and sensitive data from unauthorized access, malicious attacks and potential damage. This field encompasses a comprehensive range of practices, tools and strategies, frameworks to protect the digital asset against a variety of cyber threats, including the malware, ransomware, the phishing and advanced persistence threat. An in-depth understanding of cybersecurity fundamentals threat landscape, types of attack, and effective mitigation strategies is crucial for students, IT professionals, and the digital system administrators. So, cybersecurity encompasses a comprehensive framework of measures dedicated to protecting uh, the computer systems, network software, and sensitive data from various cyber threat also from unauthorized access and potential harm. So Cisco defines it as uh, the practice of protecting systems, networks and programs from digital attack. So cyber sec uh, security emphasizes safeguarding digital assets through a layered approach. This involves technical, procedural and policy based protection that collectively establish a secure environment. Cyber attack typically target the unauthorized access to alteration of or destruction of sensitive information, extortion of money from users or organization and disruption of critical business services. So the important of cyber security in this era because in this is an era of extensive digitalization 
and with the rise of sophisticated cyber threats, robust security measures have become essential for organizations to protect their digital assets, maintaining com uh, customer trust, uh, and complying with the uh, three requirements. So effective cybersecurity also mitigates the financial losses, uh, reputational damages, and operational disruption, making it indispensable in today's interconnected digital landscape. So let's discuss some of the core components of cybersecurity. So confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So these are the fundamental core components of cybersecurity. So confidentiality ensures that information is accessible only to the authorized user, protecting sensitive data from unauthorized disclosure. Techniques such as encryption and access control mechanism help maintain confidentiality by limiting data exposure to the approved individuals and processes. Integrity focuses on maintaining the accuracy, consistency, and trustworthiness of data throughout its life cycle. Measures like uh, checksum, um, uh, cryptographics, hashes, uh, data validation techniques are employed to detect and prevent unauthorized modification, uh, ensuring that the information remains unaltered and reliable. In the same way, availability ensures that the information and resources are uh, readily ac accessible uh, to authorized users whenever it is required. So this involves redundancy, failover strategies, and robust network security protocols, all of which work to prevent the disruption from hardware failures or cyber attacks or other incidents that could impede access to the critical resources. So together these components, uh, often referred uh, as CIA, uh, forms the foundation of strong cybersecurity uh, frameworks, protecting data, ensuring the resilience of digital infrastructure. To understand the concept of CIA, I give you a very simple example. So, in the bank, we all have our data stored in the bank server. So, confidentiality means if the cyber attacker is able to reach to the bank server and steal our data. So, basically, it compromises it comp uh, compromise the confidentiality because your data is lost. Integrity uh, means if the cyber attacker goes to the data and the attacker corrupt the data. So what will happen? The data is there, but uh, it is corrupted. So, so that's what the integrity is. And availability aspect is if the cyber attacker uh, reaches to the database server and uh, make the data server unavailable. So availability means the services uh, are not available uh, for uh, usage because of some cyber uh, attack. So now let's move to the types uh, of uh, uh, cyber security. So cyber security can be uh, categorized based on the focus area uh, within the network security uh, being a primary subset. So network security, so this area of cyber security is dedicated to protecting data transmitted across the network, ensuring uh, that the information uh, remains unaltered and secure from interception. Uh, network security ensuring uh, an organization IT infrastructure um, uh, is secure against uh, a wide range of cyber threat, including unauthorized access, uh, malware, uh, dis disrupted denial, of service, the DDoS attack, etc. So there are 
tools and techniques that are being employed uh, to secure the network. And these are uh, like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, VPN, the virtual private network, and encryption. The next type of uh, uh, cybersecurity is the information security. So this discipline is centered on ensuring that both physical and digital uh, data is protected uh, from unauthorized uh, use or access. Disruption and uh, inspection and modification is also considered in the information security. So the primary goal of the information security is to safeguard data from any form of illegal access, uh, thereby maintaining its confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So there are many tools and techniques that are being used for information security, like data encryption, access control, uh, data masking, and data loss prevention. Now the third type of uh, cybersecurity uh, is the application security. So uh, this area of cybersecurity is dedicated to protecting the software applications from vulnerabilities, from threat throughout uh, their life cycle. So application security aims to mitigate the risk associated uh, with software uh, weaknesses, uh, which can be exploited by uh, attackers to gain unauthorized access, compromise data integrity, or disrupt the functionalities. So there are many tools available to uh, ensure the application security. And these are like secure crawling practices, so guidelines and techniques uh, are designed to prevent like common uh, coding vulnerabilities such as like SQL injection, um, cross-site uh, scripting during the development process, etc. Application firewall uh, are also being used uh, in the same way security patches uh, like regularly release updates that fix uh, the vulnerabilities. Uh, within the application, uh, etc. In the same way, the vulnerability scanner, uh, some tools that basically identify the security weaknesses within the application uh, by scanning to known vulnerabilities, misconfiguration, and compliance issues. So, by implementing these tools and techniques, organization can strengthen their application security posture and reduce the risk of uh, exploitation and enhance the overall security of their software system. So this concludes uh, our session. Uh, looking forward to our next session.